Hello everybody, Joe Woodrick here, aka Badbone69. I am here today to show you how to do, how to make a, how to make a render with Blender. But not with Blender Render, but with Cycle Trigger. Uh -huh. Now, if you, as you can see, I already have a 3D skin of Timmy. So I'm not going to show you how to, because Timmy has his own little video on how to do this. My way was a little different, but basically the same. So go over to his video, which I have a link in the description for you. And you can follow how to make this, and then you can come back to my video, and it'll show you how to make a render. Now, welcome back if you did go. And good job staying here if you already know how to. <laughs> or you have a different rig. I'm using Timmy's rig, so you guys know. That's why I can make 3D, but there's no mouse because this is version 4. Right now, version 5 has not been released, but it has a mouse. And it's a fancy beat, but this is version 4. So, let's see. So, I'm going to do Command F which for me toggles quad view, as you can tell. So it gives you four perspectives. The top, the front, and the right. Now, oh, let me actually start that. So now you can see my keys down here. Um, so to toggle this, because mine is Command F, which is a hotkey that I set. But if you want this, uh, just go to Displays, Toggle Quad View, and you can easily have it right there. And now let's get to rendering. So, I render at 1,000 by 1,000 pixels. And for my, basically, test renders, as you can see right here, how it's creating this, I render at 10 samples for just like a little test render because I don't care about this right now because you can see how it's terrible. But later when I do the actual full render, I do not want that. So I up that to about 200, which probably takes about five minutes to render, but mattering your computer, which mine's MacBook Pro, I think year 2011. So about four, five, getting close to five years old. And yeah. So mine's gonna take a little bit longer. So CPO, CPU and stuff is older. Now, plus I use a CPU because my GPU doesn't work. It's not compatible. Um, let's see what else. Uh, make sure you have this on because otherwise, if you if you render, it's gonna have a background. As you can tell, it's gonna be for oh, it's gonna be white. Depending on your color of the background, you have set. See, now it's got a white background. So if you just, real quick, turn this on, it will not. As you can see right about here, see it's transparent. Because transparents are much nicer and easier to use, because then you don't have to cut out the thing if you have a background. That's how to do it in uh, Blender Cycles, so you guys know. Blender Render is different. But yeah. So now let's see. Now let's get to the actual pose mode, pose part. Now we're going to append an item. And I guess we're going to use my katana. Seems fun. Because why not? I made this a while ago. It's pretty nice. And if you need uh, any rigs, like any good rigs for items and stuff, I recommend I can't pronounce his his name though. Uh right Vitamins. Oh god, something like vitamins. No. But this is this is the rig I use for my blocks and mobs and items. I don't use the character rig unless I want to have eyes and mouth then I use this character but otherwise I use the mobs 
the items in the blocks. And if you're going to use this, make sure you uh, and you use Timmy's rig like how I'm using because this uses uh, cycles. You have to download the cycles version because this is for Blender render Blender render ver uh, version or Blender internal. But uh, Blender cycles is the one you guys want if you use Timmy's rig. If you use a different rig and it's on this setting, then you want this one, the Blender internal. I will also have Timmy's, uh, his rig down in the description for you guys. Now, if you want some rigs, go to my website, which I will have this in the description. If you click on rigs, that's which I'm already on, you can download any of these rigs. Not all of them are for Blender Cycles, though, because I never converted them, but most of the newer ones, like uh, from the ears down, are all Blender Render. I mean, Blender Cycles, sorry. A few of these are Blender Render. This one's Blender Cycles, which we're going to be using Katana. But you can go and download any of these that you want and use them as you'd like. Now let's, to append it, go to File, Append. Appending is basically adding an item. So once you download the Katana, go to where it is, which I have a rig folder, and go to Katana, go to Object, and double click Katana. Now, rot oh, click the Katana, select it, rotate it on its Z-axis, negative 90. And then rotate it on its X axis by 90. That'll give it this little part so it's nice and rotated and everything. And you can move it over to where you like it, make it smaller. Oh, wow, that's small. Whoa, that's huge. Whoops. Alright, now go to it and. So you guys know when I. When I'm zoomed out and I hit D, as you can see here, that is another preset hotkey, but I do not know what the actual key itself is to zoom into the actual selection. Alright, now, while you have the katana selected, go to constr Object Constraints, because what we want to do is, uh, cause now if you move this, as you can see, the katana doesn't move with it. But we want it to move with it, so you then you don't have to do this and then move the katana and rotate it and everything. That just makes your bit harder. So what we're going to do is add a constraint, add a child of, go to character armature, put this as whatever, use these two if you're using a hand item, which this is the right arm, right hand that we're putting this to, so right. And then click this so it actually goes back to where it was. Now if you click it and it'll just rotate with it, which is super nice. Alright. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna give him a simple PvP like about to go into a fight mode. So we're gonna oops. First we're gonna move his feet actually. Let's try that. So what I like to do is I like to move these legs out more. Because since I render from the side most of the time. So I'll uh, bring the foot out here, foot back here, bring this out more, make it look nice for the camera. Oops. Now bend him, his uh, back, bend his head back up so he knows where he's going. Make sure you have the hand selected, bring this up, this. Okay, and this up. There we go. And then we're just gonna get out of quad mode. Click this because this is so this makes it easier to uh, move the camera and everything. Rotate it with. Oops, let me actually turn this border off. So there's no two borders. So you want if you want to know what this border does, if you have this selected and you go into render view it only basically renders this everything in the border everything in the camera 
unless you go outside the camera, then it renders everything. But yeah. Back to material mode, turn this off. In a minute a bit. And oh, I kept the setting on on accident. Oh, I turned this on. <laughs> I'm always confusing for the same color. Now, let's render this real quick. Remember, this is a 10 sample, so it's gonna have that crappy look to that to the shadows because it's what this is called is uh, noise, and to reduce that, like I, I said before, you up this to a higher number to reduce the noise. And making this higher depends on how much noise the picture actually has. If it's got a whole lot of it, then you want to make this number really high. Usually when I make my renders, though, if it's not like... I usually make mine at about 200 samples a render, because it only takes about my computer about 5 minutes to do. That's a pretty good stance and everything. I like that. Let's just. Cause I like to center my thing up. Just because I like to. And yeah. And then you just put this as 200. And basically my final render. So. I will be right back once this is finished. And I'm back. So I. What I actually did was brought, I brought this down to 100 and brought that to 50%, so now it's 500 by 500, just because it's a little quicker for me to render it, just for now. As you can see, this little uh, dots, those white dots, brighter dots, sorry. The reason those are there is because it's from the sword. Basically, it's the lighting bouncing off the sword and landing on him. And if I was to probably get rid of this, this would most likely fix that. Oh, actually, that sped up the render, too. I think I figured out my problem why it took so long. And it should move those white dots. Yep, see? No more white dots, because I got rid of that sunlight. Because it's this is sword's got a glossy effect, so it basically bounces off. I probably could edit it and make it so it does, light doesn't bounce off it. And then you can have the sunlight. I'll probably do that later on. But yeah, and that's just about how you make a render. But first, once this finishes, I will show you how to save it to wherever you need. I save all my stuff to my desktop, as you, as you can tell. Now, once it's finished, as you tell, click image, save as image. Then I'll just save it to my desktop go YouTube. Uh, let's see, render. Yep, why not? And once you go there, let's see. And there it is. I'm on a Mac, as you can tell, so if I hit spacebar, it pops up with it. And boom, there you go. You can see I made some before. My glasses rig. Let's see what else do I have. I have this. I made this for a uh, little fan art for his banner. Fan art banner. Yeah. It's just about how you make a render. Uh, thank you for watching and make sure you like the video and everything. Tell me what you think if you had any problem. Tell me in the comments and I'll try to help you fix that problem. I am not super, like, I'm not amazing, like, I don't know, but I, I know my way around Blender, and I'm pretty good with it, so if you need help, just comment in the comments, obviously, and ask me, and I might be able to help you. Well, have a nice day.